is, what you desire, what you seek, what you seek, what your true longing is. What your true longing is, is the realization of divine, is the realization of the divine that can and will be known as all things, that can and will be known as all things, the trials you face in a lifetime, the trials you face in a lifetime, the opportunities for growth, wish, the opportunities for growth, if you wish, ultimately, ultimately will be comprehended by you, will be comprehended by you as part of the process of volition, as part of the process of realization and not some punishment you incur and not some punishment you incur for an infraction for an infraction the true desire of the heart the true desire of the heart is the release is the release of the oppression of the oppression of separation of separation and the realization and the realization of unity of unity now when you understand that there's a potential now, when you understand that this is a potential, the chain changes, the game changes, the idealization of separation, the idealization of separation will always be known by you, it will always be known by you, must always be known by you, must always be known by you, has claimed you each, has claimed you each an idealized sense of self, in an idealized sense of self, where if there is a God at all, where if there is a God at all, it exists beyond a wall you can't fathom, it exists beyond a wall you can't fathom, and perhaps one day you will know it, and perhaps one day you will know it, but in likelihood not, but in likelihood not, so do the best you can anyway, so do the best you can anyway, and imagine one day, and imagine one day this won't be a problem for you, this won't be a problem for you. The agreement to separation. The agreement to separation has been altered now, has been altered now. It would seem so strong, and what seems so strong, so deliberate, so deliberate, so eternal as separation, so eternal as separation is actually releasing in pieces, is actually releasing in pieces. Paul is seeing a wave eroding a shoreline. Paul is seeing a wave eroding a shoreline. In some ways, that is the case here. And in some ways, that is the case here. The higher octave or note that is playing, the higher octave or note that is playing and is in reclamation of all matter and is in reclamation of all matter is operating as this wave, is operating as this wave and the shoreline in this case. And the shoreline in this case would be the idea of separation, would be the idea of separation. Notice we said idea. Notice we said idea because finally it is an idea because finally it is an idea that you have made in form, that you have made in form. The idea of a wall must be present. The idea of a wall must be present before the wall is built, before the wall is built and what is separated from God and what has separated from you and from you, separated you from God, from God is an idea, is an idea that you are separate that you are separate and because you believe this and because you believe this, you've done your best anyway, you've done your best anyway, and underline the word anyway, and underline the word anyway without the information, without the information or the capacity or the capacity to know something different, to know something different, something different. Now, in this class, we do two things. Now, in this class, we do two things. We instruct you in truth. We instruct you in truth. What is true is always true. What is true is always true. And we support you each as we can. And we support you each as we can in your ability to know the new, in your ability to know the new. And by no mean realize, and by no, we mean realize your realization is paramount here. Your realization is paramount here. And we say this for a very specific reason. And we say this for a very specific reason, until you understand yourself as of the whole, until you understand yourself as of the whole, you are contributing to separation, you are contributing to separation, you are idealizing it still, you are idealizing it still, this is mine, that is hers, this is mine, that is hers, I am here, she is there, I am here, she is there, we will never connect beyond that idea, and we will never connect beyond that idea, many of you believe, many of you believe that moving to a sense of unity, that moving to a sense of unity is a declaration of defeat, is a declaration of defeat, that it is not mine anymore, that it is not mine anymore, it will be ours, and who asked for that? I certainly didn't. 
then it is ours who asked for that. I certainly did it. The truth of your being, the truth of your being, we must say, we must say, is not separate, is not separate. So as you begin to align, so as you begin to align as the truth of your being, as the truth of your being, the manifestation of your truth, the manifestation of your truth is a higher awareness, is a higher awareness of the construct you inhabit, of the construct you inhabit. By construct, we mean the shared plane of experience. By construct, we mean the shared plane of experience. Now, each of you decides in your own way. Now, each of you decides in your own way what it means to be one with source, what it means to be one with source. It is so fraught with meaning. In fact, it is so fraught with meaning. In fact, that you are lost in the questions, that you are lost in the questions. How will I know I am one with God? How will I know I am one with God? How will I be when I am one with God? How will I be when I am one with God? Here is the truth of the matter. Here is the truth of the matter. Indeed, you're already one with God. Indeed, you are already one with God. You are simply denying it, you are simply denying it. You're creating structures and you are creating structures and aligning to the structures and aligning to structures that support that agreement, that support that agreement, which gives it merit, which gives it merit. And you look at the evidence of separation and you look at the evidence of separation. You say, well, it must be so. And you say, well, it must be so because I see the evidence of it, because I see the evidence of it. Those people over there, those people over there, that country over here, that country over here. These people who don't say, these people who don't do what we say or who will not agree to what I say should be or who will not agree to what I say should be. And then you will contribute to the problems and then you contribute to the problems and you pat yourselves in the back and you pat yourselves on the back for the continuum of separation, for the continuum of separation at the cost of your heart's true desire, at the cost of your heart's true desire. The realization that you already want on the source of all things the realization that you are all that you are already one with the source of all things must come in stages for most of you. Must come in stages for most of you. Again, the, the shoreline being eroded. Again, the shoreline being eroded because if you are catapulted into unity, because if you were catapulted into unity in your full awareness, in your full awareness, you would probably go mad. You would probably go mad. There is too much stimuli. There is too much stimuli in the intractability of the choice and. The the intractability of the choice, the true realization of the choice, the true realization of the choice, I am one with God, I am one with God, moves you into alignment, moves you into an alignment with an energetic structure, with an energetic structure that is far more fluid, that is far more fluid than you are capable of understanding, that you are capable of understanding because you are still moored in a form, because you are still moored in a form, even an amplified form, even an amplified form that has been lifted to the upper room, that has been lifted to the upper room. You are bound by the needs of form. You are bound by the needs of form, which quite simply means, which quite simply means don't expect to sprout wings and fly. Don't expect to sprout wings and fly. Although in the true nature, although in the true nature of your spiritual experience, of your true spiritual experience, you are no longer bound to form. You are no longer bound to form and consequently can be where you think and consequently can be where you think. Did you hear those words? Did you hear those words? In spirit, you can be where you think. In spirit, you can be where you think, but that the form that you've taken, but that the form that you have taken, not as malleable, not as malleable, must stay in plane, must stay in a plane where it holds coherence, where it holds coherence is a mandatory understanding, is a mandatory understanding. Indeed, and this is for Paul. Indeed, and this is for Paul. There are those who may, what you call by locate, there are those who may, what you call by locate or operate without time or operate without time. But these are beings that have ascended to a level. But these are beings that have ascended to a level where matter itself is known as construct, where matter itself is known as construct. Imagine a revolving door. Imagine a revolving door that can be entered and left at will, that can be entered and left at will when you have an experience of spirit 
when you have an experience of spirit, perhaps a visitation from a loved one, perhaps a visitation from a loved one, perhaps an experience that denies time, perhaps an experience that denies time moves you into a higher landscape of being, moves you into a higher landscape of being. You're having an experience of this doorway. You are having an experience of this doorway and moving between the worlds and moving between the worlds. When you maintain the upper room as vibration, when you maintain the upper room as vibration, your ability to do this increases, your ability to do this increases because you are rendered new, because you are rendered new in the upper room, in the upper room, and the qualifications you hold there, and the qualifications you hold there are as one who may know herself, are as one who may know herself beyond the constrictions of time, beyond the constrictions of time. Paul interrupts the teaching. Paul interrupts the teaching. Well, why don't we get to transport as we wish? Well, why don't we get to transport as we wish? Because that is not the aim of this teaching. Because that is not the aim of this teaching. You can transport quite easily now. You can transport quite easily now in the vibrational being. You are in the vibrational being that you are. You can move anywhere, Paul. You can move anywhere, Paul, and into anyone as you wish, and into anyone as you wish. Most of these people can do it as well. Most of these people can do it as well at the level that they may hold, at the level that they may hold the higher tone, the higher tone. But this is not the point of this teaching. But this is not the point of this teaching. It's something that can be claimed. It is something that can be claimed when you're no longer in requirement form, when you are no longer in requirement for form. Now, one who has released the need for form, now one who has released the need for form may actually operate in multiple universes, may actually operate in multiple universes concurrently, concurrently with an awareness of what that means, with an awareness of what that means. Most of you will be operating quite succinctly. Most of you will be operating quite succinctly in two or three, in two or three, which quite simply means the world that you share with others, the world that you share with others in the higher strata vibration and the higher strata of vibration we call the upper room. We call the, the upper room. And then once again, beyond that, and then once again, beyond that, to what we will call the kingdom, to what we will call the kingdom, which is actually the level of vibration, which is actually the level of vibration that you may hold while maintaining form, that you may hold while maintaining form, when form is no longer a requirement for growth. When form is no longer a requirement for your growth, you may indeed move beyond that as well. You may indeed move beyond that as well. The kingdom is a level of vibration. The kingdom is a level of vibration that holds multiple octaves that holds multiple octaves. Your point of entry is the upper room. Your point of entry is the upper room. And to balance the world you have known, and to balance the world you have known with a level of tone or frequency, with a level of tone or frequency you may embody as in the upper room, you may embody as in the upper room is the challenge most of you are facing now, is the challenge most of you are facing now. Once you understand, once you understand you are now that you are now moored in what we call the upper room and what we call the upper room and that your idea of who you are and that your idea of who you are first and foremost, first and foremost is what is operative in the lower strata is what is operative in the lower strata. You will begin to release the idea. You will begin to release the idea that you're in the lower field, that you are in the lower field, when in fact, most of you have altered the field enough. But in fact, most of you have altered the field enough to be operative in the upper room, to be operative in the upper room without even fully acknowledging it, without even fully acknowledging it. Once you understand who and what you are, once you understand who and what you are in the higher field, in the higher field, you begin to acquire experience, you begin to acquire experience of being, and that experience of being, and that experience of being becomes the mandate, becomes the mandate and foundation and foundation for where you now stand for where you now stand. Now imagine you always lived in one country. Now imagine you always lived in one country, are used to the street signs in a certain language. You are used to the street signs in a certain language, used to the laws of the land as they've been, used to the laws of the land as they have been. And then once you transform and move to another country, and then once you transform and move to another country without the full awareness that you have done, without the full awareness that you have done so, you seek the old street signs, you seek the old street signs, 
signs. You abide by the old laws, you will abide by the old laws. As we said in our last class, as we said in our last class, the music has actually stopped on the dance floor. The music has actually stopped on the dance floor. You are dancing to the echo of it. You are dancing to the echo of it, the way of being as you were, the way of being as you were without the understanding, without the understanding that the music has already been transposed, that the music has already been transposed and you are in the process of aligning yourself and you are in the process of aligning yourself to a higher nature of being, to a higher nature of of being. So you look at the old street signs. So you look at the old street signs, you create what's not there that you think you need, and you create what's not there that you think you need, and you go about your businesses, and you go about your businesses, if you were still in the old country, as if you are still in the old country, when in fact you are not, when in fact you are not moving beyond separation, moving beyond separation while maintaining a frequency, while maintaining a frequency and a sense of identity, and a sense of identity that is a requirement for you to manage a life. It is a requirement for you to manage a life. It's not so much a skillful act. It's not so much a skillful act, but an agreement, but an agreement to allow the allowance, to allow the allowance to come to you as you can hold it, to come to you as you can hold. And imagine a child in a dark room, and Imagine a child in a dark room who demands all the lights be turned on at once, who demands all the lights be turned on at once. He will squint and cover his eyes. He will squint and cover his eyes. The light is brought to you as you can manage the light. The light is brought to you as you can manage the light. When the light is on enough, when the light is on enough, you recognize that the room that you've been in, you recognize that the room that you've been in is no longer the room that it was, is no longer the room that it was. As you get more used to the light is amplified, as you get more used to the light and it is amplified, you begin to see a world made new. <clears throat> you begin to see a world made new. Now, for some of you, this means now, for some of you, this means that your attachment to who you think you are, that your attachment to who you think you are, so more than separation you have been, so more than separation you have been, that you will deny the use, that you will deny the use and the agreements and the agreements of these teachings, of these teachings, the moment they deny your politics, the moment they deny your politics or your sense of well-being or your sense of well-being or your religious structures or your religious structures. You wish your cake and you wish to eat it too. You wish your cake and you wish to eat it too. You wish to damn someone. You wish to damn someone and call yourself blessed at the same time and call yourself blessed at the same time. If you wish the teachings of the hypocrites, if you wish the teachings of the hypocrites, you can find them in most places. You can find them in most places. We will finally have to say this for the last time, but we will finally have to say this for the last time. You cannot be the light. You cannot be the light and hold on another in darkness and the convenience that the old gives you and the convenience that the old gives you i will be right at the cost of being wrong i will be right at the cost of them being wrong is what you damn yourselves by is what you damn yourselves by and at the cost of what your heart truly asks for and at the cost of what your heart truly asks for, which is the realization of its own need to unity, which is the realization of its own need towards unity, towards unity. Now, self-recrimination must be understood. Now, self-recrimination must be understood as holding another dark well, as holding another in darkness as well. And we'll say this for Paul and for most of you. And we will say this for Paul and for most of you when you damn yourself, when you damn yourself, when you criticize yourself mercilessly, when you criticize yourself mercilessly or hold a standard to yourself that you cannot live by or hold a standard to yourself that you cannot live by, you create the separation. You create the separation or at least confirm it or at least confirm it and you manage a life in separation. And then you manage a life in separation where the idea of God, where the idea of God, once again, over that wall, once again, over that wall cannot be found, cannot be found. He interrupts the teaching. 
he interrupts the teaching, but isn't self-criticism part of awareness? But isn't self-criticism part of awareness in some ways? Yes. In some ways, yes. If you learn a multiplication tables, if you learn a multiplication tables and you learn what, what amounts to what at the end of the theorem, at the end of the theorem, theorem, we want to understand, you will understand that the numbers themselves, that the numbers themselves can be added up one way only, can be added up one way only. When you make an error, you learn the true way. When you make an error, you may learn the true way. Now, for some of you, this means, now for some of you, this means you simply look at what you conceive of as an error, that you simply look at what you conceive of as an error, as an opportunity to learn, as an opportunity to learn, not to debase yourselves, not to debase yourselves or to put yourself in darkness or to put yourself in darkness in the corner that your parents once put you in, in the corner that your parents once put you in by punishing you, by punishing you, by separating you from themselves, by separating you from themselves. Most of you do this unknowingly. Most of you do this unknowingly. The idea of self-love must be understood here. The idea of self-love must be understood here. It doesn't mean you're correct in error. It doesn't mean you don't correct in error. You're responsible to what you choose. You are responsible to what you choose, but you act as the loving parent must. But you act as the loving parent must, not the one who would put the child in separation, not the one who would put the child in separation. You create this, you see. You create this, you see, and then you look for others to blame for your sense of self. And then you look for others to blame for your sense of self. Well, if my parents had been better parents, well, if my parents had been better parents, if my partner had been a better partner, if my partner had been a better partner, if my child had been a grateful child, if my child had been a more grateful child, I would not suffer so. I would not suffer so. You could not be a master and a victim. You cannot be a master and a victim at the same time. At the same time, we understand that things happen that are challenging. We understand that things happen that are challenging, that there are people who hurt other people, that there are people who hurt other people. We don't deny these events happen. We don't deny that these events happen, but we will tell you finally, but we will tell you finally, if you codify identity, if you codify identity through victimhood, you will always find an oppressor. You will always find an oppressor, which is the requirement of that identity, which is the requirement of that identity when you are actualized in a new way. When you are actualized in a new way, when you begin to understand yourselves in the higher strata, when you begin to understand yourselves in the higher strata, you release these false ideas. You release these false ideas and you do not claim them and you do not claim them or do you align to others, nor do you align to others who would support you with these claims who would support you in these claims. Again, you're not denying what happened. Again, you are not denying what happened, but you are claiming empowerment, but you are claiming empowerment, not through making others wrong, not through making others wrong, but through realizing your own true self, but through realizing your own true self, the one that is without blame, the one that is without blame, the Christ itself within you. The Christ itself within you is indeed without blame, is indeed without blame any outside authority, and any outside authority cannot match the inner light cannot match the inner light that has come into fruition, that has come into fruition in what we call the upper room, in what we call the upper room. For some of you, this means, for some of you, this means that a legacy of pain, that a legacy of pain, sorrow or anger or anger can be released quite simply can be released quite simply. I don't need to carry this to the upper room. I don't need to carry this in the upper room because it will not stand there because it will not stand there. I'm allowed to release what I don't need. I am allowed to release what I don't need. I'm allowed to reclaim who and what I truly am. And I am allowed to reclaim who and what I truly am without the mandate of the old pain without the mandate of the old pain, the old suffering, the old suffering, the old way of knowing myself and claiming separation, the old way of knowing myself and claiming myself in separation. What we teach through Paul, 
When we teach through Paul, we must be aware of the form he has taken. We must be aware of the form he has taken and the mandates of the form and the mandates of the form. We would like to continue a little longer, Paul. We would like to continue a little longer, Paul. We understand the fatigue. We understand the fatigue, but we are teaching readily today. But we are teaching readily today and actually quite easily through you and actually quite easily through you. So if you give us permission to continue, we will. So if you give us permission to continue, we will. The altered vibrational fields, the the altered vibrational field that is now occurring within all of you, that is now occurring within all of you, holds a new ideal, holds a new ideal, which is not knowing of self, which is the knowing of the self beyond the idea of separation, beyond the idea of separation, the Christ itself, the Christ itself, or true self, or true self always knows itself in union always knows itself in union, but has been so separate, but has been so separate from the experience of most of you, from the experience of most of you that the challenge has been, that the challenge has been the resurrection of the monad or Christ, the resurrection or the monad, or, uh, the, the resurrection of the monad or the Christ in the field you hold, in the field that you hold, that has been so aligned to density, that has been so aligned to density. A new promise has been given to mankind. A new promise has been given to mankind, humankind, if you prefer, humankind, if you prefer, that those who ask will receive, that those who ask will receive and will be reclaimed and will be reclaimed. The asking is a requirement still. The asking is a requirement still. The claim of unity, the claim of unity, the agreement to unity, the agreement to unity will always come at a cost of the old, will always come at a cost of the old, but as it is your heart's desire, but as it is your heart's desire, we will support you in the claims as you wish them. We will support you in the claims as you wish them. You may say these words after we speak them if you wish. You may, you may say these words after we speak them if you wish, if you wish. On this day I claim, on this day I claim that all that I have known may be renowned, that all that I have known may be renowned, that all of my seen have been hand, that all that I have seen may be received, that all of I have endured, that all that I have endured may be made new, may be made new in the upper room, in the upper room. And as I give permission, and as I give permission to this new awakening in my own being, to this new awakening in my own being, I claim my awareness. I claim my awareness beyond the idea of separation, beyond the idea of separation, beyond the template of fear, beyond the template of fear and beyond the agreement and beyond the agreement to the denial of the divine, to the denial of the divine that has been my false heritage, that has been my false heritage. I know I am in truth. I know who I am in truth. I know what I am in truth. I know how I serve in truth. I am free. I am free. I am free. I am in the upper room. I have come. 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 Behold, I make all things new. It will be so. Now, finally, we speak this for all of you when we engage you here at this tone of vibration, and we engage you here at this tone of vibration. God is, God is, God is. God is. God is. God is. Be received by us as one. Be received by us as one. Allow yourself to be received by us as one. As one. God, is, God, is, God, is. God is. God is. God is. 